Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So in this episode, what we will do is we'll update our homepage and especially our latest post part right here. And we want this information to be dynamic right here. And we want to make the load more button functional, right? There's a couple of things we need to do to, to make all of this work. I need to update my post factory because I want the images to be dynamic. All right, so I just want them to actually be random and not static and actually come from the database, right? The next thing is I want to actually see the database with the relevant authors, all right? So as you can see, if you're using the template, you will see we've got four different authors right here. All right, so let's get started. All right, the first thing we need to do is go to our database, factories, let's update our post factory right here. And the one that I want to update is the image right here. I want that to be public. Let's quickly do that. All right, so it's public post stock. And then I just use random fake element of one, two, three, four, and five. And I concatenate basically JPEG like that. So I want this basically to be other one, two, or three, or four, five JPEG image. Now, the reason for that is if we go to our public folder, let's quickly go there public images stock you will see uh if you're using the template you'll see we've got stock four five one three and two right here right so that's basically the images i want to be random to my post okay so just pause the video copy this part right here so that when you save it to the database you can actually just make it a little bit more dynamic otherwise you will have static just one or two or three okay the next thing we want to do is we want to copy these images so just copy them Right, and let's put them in our storage folder and public. Let's close this storage folder, uh, public post right here. So let's paste them in that folder right there. Okay, because that's the folder when we're normally going to stay for a stock image, we will save a post image in there. Okay, now the next thing, all right, so that's the first thing we need to update. So the next thing is we need to go to the database, um, the cedar right and we want to update our post table cedar right this is totally dependent on you if you don't want to follow along with this one it's totally up to you right i just want to create a post for all the users you can could have just left it with the default of the one and two right i just wanted to add one for the other authors as well so i create four posts for each author so the first author that's the admin user and this is michelle and and the rest like one two three four and five right so let's quickly update our user table cedar let's go there in our user table cedar what i've done is i just added this is the default for michelle i just copied it down three times and just changed the to jane doe david rogue john gray like that okay so that because right now as you can see this is the first one there's one and this is two this is number three, this is number four, and this is number five, right? So if you just want to stick to the two, that's why I'm not doing it live for you guys right here. And because it is totally dependent on you, right? So if you just stick with this two, that's completely fine. I just wanted to show the two if someone else wants to do the same as I've done, right? So that's it, right? So now our user table seater, just make sure if you want to update it, you can update it to like this, okay? So once that is done, I'm going to the config file, all right? And the config, you go to your file system. All right, remember, I'm storing the image in the database as public, all right? So I just want to add the storage part to storage public like that, okay? And then once you've done that, all right? So let's say you only store it in the database. Let's go to the storage folder. Let's say you only store it in the database as post in the name right there. Don't do this, okay? But if you do, okay, did store them like, my, like how I did it, all right? Then just add the public right there. Open up your terminal and just do PHP artisan storage link like this. Okay, since I already created, it will just give me that right there. Okay, all good. All right, so after you've done that, Let's quickly see our database. So PHP artisan migrate fresh. Right, let's do that. Okay. 
So all good. All right, so if you go to the database, you'll see it's public post stock one, public post stock four, stock two, random like that. Okay, so that's kind of why I wanted to update the image so that the, they can be a little bit more dynamic. So when I update the get the image from the post, I can actually get it like that. Okay, like I would get it if I actually save the image. All right, if you're using the template, go to resources views pages home dot index this is our home page right you can if you're not using the template you can go to your own home page right what i want to do is the information that we have in our post container right here this one right here is all the different articles and there are four different articles right here and i want to change that to be a bit more dynamic all right so let's open up your terminal let's create a live wire component so PHP artisan make live wire. All right, we're going to create inside the live wire component. We're going to create a folder called home. And inside that, we're going to create a class called latest post. All right, let's create it. I'll already start the live wire repo, so no need to do that. Oh, let's close that off. Let's go to the LiveWire component and app HTTP LiveWire. You'll see we've got a latest post right there. All right. So let's quickly copy everything in here plus the load more button. Okay. So just the post container and the load more button. Just copy everything right there. Actually, the whole diff as well. Like that. Copy that and paste it inside this view right here. Just make sure the div encapsulates the whole thing, even if it's just an empty div. Okay, like that. All right, let's quickly render our LiveWire component right here. LiveWire home dot latest post. LiveWire home latest post like that. All right, so now we've got our LiveWire component. Let me just quickly comment. All right, I deleted all the other articles, so they just make sure that you only have one. All right, so what I want to do, I want to actually create a blade component now inside my LiveWire component called posts. Inside that, I'm just going to call latest, like that, okay? Obviously, I haven't created this anonymous component, so let's quickly go there. So under the resources views, you're going to go to components, and let's create a new folder called posts. Inside that, we're just going to create a new blade view called latest. Blade.php. Right, this one right here. So copy that single article, cut it out. All right, and paste it in here. Okay, so we're going to get to that part soon. All right, so this is our latest post. All right, so we're obviously going to get to this in a second. Now, another thing, just make sure the X button right here, you add a wire click and a method called load more. Okay, that one right there. And let's go and create this method quickly inside our LiveWire component. So in there, we're going to create a public method called load more. All right, and let's quickly create a public variable. We're going to call this one count and we're going to set it by default to be four posts. Okay, so load more. Then we're going to do this, all right? So count. Okay, and then we want to do is we just want to do like that. And then we add just another four. All right, so basically, what will happen is if we click this button, the load more button right here. So what will happen now is it will call on the method. It will check the count. Let's say the count is four. We will just add four to it. Okay. All right. The next thing we want to do is we want to pass all the posts. Okay. So let's just do that. And in our render view right here, we just want to pass all the posts. Okay. The latest ones. And let's quickly create a post variable like this. Just make sure you bring in your post model like that. We're going to create a a method inside our post model called load uh, let's say load latest 
actually just like this project. Naming load latest. Let's call it load latest. All right. And then we just want to add this account like that. All right. So we haven't created this method yet inside our post model. Okay. So there's actually a scope. So let's quickly do that. All right. So let's open up our post model. Right, so our post model right here. Let's quickly create that method. So public function, and we're going to call this one a scope. All right, and this is going to be called a load latest, like this. All right, and the parameter right here. This will be the builder. This is the Laravel Eloquent builder. All right, and we're just going to do a query. Query. And then the count we're going to set by default to four. Okay. Right, let's return the query. And we're going to check where not null. Uh, not null. Null. And we're going to add that for published. Published add date must not be null. Okay, so if the published add date is not there, we don't want to get that post. All right, and then we want to check where the published add date is equal to or greater than today. So, okay, so greater or equal to actually less than, uh, actually less than, pardon me. All right, and then we're going to create a new date PHP method date time like that. All right, and what we want to do is we want to get the latest one, make it latest, and we want to paginate. Paginate how many? The count. Like that. Okay, so we're going to pass this the right through. So as you can see in the latest post, we passed it to that right there. All right, so let's quickly see if this actually work. All right, undefined variable both. All right, I know why. Let's quickly fix that. All right, so what we want to do in here is we need to create a for each loop. All right, for each post as post. All right, and then we're going to loop over our play component. Okay. Then we want to pass the post variable. Okay, we want to pass that to the view, post like that. Okay, so let's quickly see if we can actually view this post. All right, so as you can see, we're actually viewing the post right here. So all of this is hard coded. So if I click the load more right here, it loads four more. All right, so all good. And let's load more. Let's click four more. As you can see, it loads for us four more right there. Okay, so all good. But as you can see, it all is hard-coded information, right? So let's quickly update that. I think we have done well to get this far. All right, so what I will do in the next episode, because we still need to create a route for all of these, and the video might be get a little bit too long. All right. So if you guys think this is a good video and you like it, please give it a like. And if you have any comments, feedback or suggestions, please leave it for me in the comment section. I know there's quite a lot of information and I had to put in the video, but I don't want to make it too long for you guys as well. So what I'm going to do in the next video is we're going to update this part right here and create the routes where the user can go to. All right. Thank you guys and see you in the next one. Calvin out. Adiós.